lost your pencil and end up cleaning your whole table just to find it on your ear? Or have you ever met someone for the third time and still couldn't remember their name? You distinctly remember their face, but you can't remember their name. Sadly, you're too embarrassed to ask for their name because you've already asked two times before. So you take on the method of not saying their name. Instead of, hi, Claire, you say, hi, bro. And you keep on doing this until you overhear their name. Well, if this hasn't happened to you, it sure has happened to me. According to Scientific American, our brain's memory storage is 2.5 petabytes, which is 2.5 million gigabytes. You would have to have your TV running continuously for more than 300 years to use that much storage. If this is the case, then why do many people feel like their memory isn't working or feel like they forget almost everything? This is because we may not be utilizing the skills that best help develop our memory. My name is Ariana Cato, and today I would like to share with you ways that I have learned to effectively memorize, methods that hopefully will not only help you remember quickly, but long term. But before I share with you these revelations, let me address a misconception that a good memory is only for the elite or, those, or for those with inherent abilities. Just like you can practice to increase your stamina, you can practice to increase your memory retention skills. But before you know, but before you can practice, you will need to know how you can practice. So now I will share with you three tips that can help boost your memory retention skills. The three tips make an acronym of AIR. The first tip is A, attention or concentration. In this day and age, with so many distractions, people, tasks, fighting for attention, concentration is a skill that many people need. According to stats, Gen Z spend at least five or more years five or more hours each day online. With so many possibilities and entertaining things to do, many have adapted to multitasking. However, for memorization, multitasking is not the most effective thing to do. A neuroscience consultant, Marilee Springer said, multitasking is known to add slow people down by 50% and add 50% more mistakes. A lifestyle of multitasking could look like this. You are writing an essay while catching up on a show you missed when you see a notification from your friend asking you to hang out with them. Right as you're about to answer them, you hear your mom calling you to dinner. So this is a good example of multitasking in everyday life. However, with our attention continually divided, we will not be able to absorb as much information or study effectively. Kevin Mador, a postdoctoral fellow in the Department of Psychology said, Individuals who are heavier media multitaskers may also show worse memory because of lower sustained attention ability. Although multitasking may seem to be more productive, multitasking may have a negative impact on memory. To help aid my second tip, I will share with you a brief story. It was Easter production day, and from what I recall, I only had one line to speak. However, once this show started, I began to get very sleepy. Time seemed to pass really slowly, and by the time I had waken up, the show was over. I had not said a single word. The teacher later came to me and told me how sorry he was I couldn't say my line. Whether it was because I was sleeping or because someone had accidentally taken my part, I still don't know. But how come I remember this occurrence, this pre-K occurrence, when some people barely remember the process of mitosis they learned the day before? This leads me to my second tip of imagery. Have you ever noticed that you remember stories much longer? This is because you can picture things in your head, allowing you to remember things for a longer period. John Medina, a neuroscientist said, hear a piece of information and three days later, you'll remember 10% of it. Add a picture and you'll remember 65%. This use of creating a story and using imagery can be used in a variety of ways such as studying for your classes or remembering names. So let's say you're trying to connect this face to a name. Let's say the person's name is Brayden. Brayden is a talkative, friendly, and actually has long hair. So to remember his name, you can think, oh, his hair is long enough to braid in. Brayden. So every time you see him in the hallway, you can be like, oh, his hair is long enough to braid in. Brayden. So these imageries and stories that you make to remember things should be fun and enjoyable so that you remember them for a long time. 
The third letter in the acronym AIR is R for repetition. To help increase your strength and ability to memorize, we need to continuously practice the skill of memorization. Just like you must continually exercise to keep your six pack from turning into fat, you must continually exercise your memory retention skills so that you can keep and increase your memory retention skills. Research on the forgetting curve shows that within one hour, 50% of the information presented is forgotten. And within one day, 70% of the information is forgotten. And within one week, the data shows that 90% of the information presented is forgotten. Therefore, by continual repetition and review of the subject, with the use of imagery, we can significantly decrease the amount of things we forget. To remember the acronym AIR, remember this phrase that I created of memory is in the air. A is for attention, I is for imagery, and R is for repetition. Now I would like to share with you a system that I made that is very similar to that of Kevin Horsley in his book, Unlimited Memory. This system is helpful when trying to remember things related to numbers, such as who is the 17th president? This system utilizes both imagery and repetition. So in this system, each number looks like a letter. The number one looks like the letter L. So each time I see the number one, I'll replace it with the letter L. In the same way, the letter N looks like the, letter two, the number two. So every time I see the letter N, I'll replace it with two. In this system, um, vowels aren't considered. They are just fillers. So let's try an example. Who is the 17th president? So according to the system, the number one is represented by L, and the number seven is represented by K. So remember, vowels aren't considered, so you can use any vowels to create words. So in this case, I created the word look. Then you create a story. Look at my scratch, President Johnson, because the Johnson Johnson Band-Aid covers my scratch. So every time I see 17, I'll think LK, look, look at my scratch, President Johnson. Let's try another example, 18. So according to the system, the number one is represented by L, and the number eight is represented by F. I can insert in vowels to create the word life. Now I create a story. You have been granted life, President Grant. So every time I see 18, I'll think LF, life. You have been granted life, President Grant. So one last example, who is the 19th president? So by now you know that the number one is represented by L and nine is represented by P. So we can create the word leap. The story is you leap over Hayes, President Hayes. So this system is a fun and engaging way to remember things related to numbers. And I personally think it's an effective way to memorize things. Now, with all this being said, at the end of the day, after you've utilized the three tips, as cliche as it sounds, don't underestimate the power of sleep in memory. In October of 2019, two MIT professors found a correlation between sleep and test scores. Those who slept less had lower test scores. This theory and this theory has been repetitively tested by multiple people and with results showing that a more sleep results in more memory retention by 20 and 40%. Though many people think it's the sleep that you get before the big day is important, it is actually the sleep on learning periods that has been found to be most important. Therefore, instead of taking extra tasks throughout the day or binge watching shows on school days or getting sidetracked online, we need to prioritize our sleep because this is a major factor in our memory retention skill. So to, to um, review, memory is in the air with A, attention, I, imagery, and R, repetition. We can bring our memory to another level. So pop quiz, who was the 19th president? Yes, President Hayes, because the number one is L, nine is P. You leap over Hayes, President Hayes. I'd like to finish off with an Irish blessing that Kevin Horsley also ended his book with, to encourage you as you continually increase your memory. May you never forget what is worth remembering, 
nor ever remember what is best forgotten. Thank you.